Welcome back. Now that you got the names down, you want to introduce this next I'll guest? I'll try. <laughs> we have Since with I us got it wrong. Arlene Maslinski and Vicki Kaus. Right? All right. All right. And they're going to talk to us about Quilt Congress. Yeah. All right. You come almost every, I think you come every year to promote this. I have something to promote every year. Good. <laughs> You're a very busy group. <laughs> Well, you're wowing us this year. you got some really ah, cool quilts. Well, you know, we need window yeah. dressing. We need window dressing for all of our appearances. Okay. So I brought this quilt, my favorite this, quilts. This is a small, what would this be for? This that is a wall hanging. Okay. Oh, well. And, and right. it was made yeah, for a challenge a couple years ago for a Quilt Congress challenge. Okay. Um, we were supposed to make a uh, quilt that depicted quilters on fire. Oh, okay. So the name of that quilt is Inspiration or Distraction. Oh. <laughs> And I thought with the firemen, you know, quilters on fire. Sure. So yeah. let me tell you about Quilt Congress. Tell me. It is coming up on October 10th and 11th. Mm -hmm. And Quilt Congress is a gathering of the Northwest Arkansas Quilt Guilds. So we start in the northwest corner of the state. We come across as far as Salem and as far, or far east as Salem and as far south as Little Rock. Okay. And the, the uh, sponsors or the hosts for this year are Hill and Hollow Quilters Guild here in Mountain Home and the country quilters out of Salem. So our two guilds are working together. Um, the primary purpose, as I say, is to bring guild members from this part of the state together. And we have workshops and all mm -hmm. that kind of mm -hmm. thing. But Friday night, we are opening this event to the public, which we're really, really excited about. Very much so. Mm -hmm. now, what, awesome. As a person that would come in, what would, what would I see? Well, you would come, first of all, to the fairgrounds at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And when you first walk in, you will uh, have an opportunity to bid on items in our silent auction. And these are mostly quilt related things. Mm -hmm. We have fabrics, we have books, we have sewing notions, um, we have some jewelry even. And we, ha in fact, we have about 350 bid packages. And as most silent auctions are, you can, you can make a bid, you can build that up. Now it continues into Saturday, but if you want to take it home with you Friday night, you can buy it now. Every item has a price listed. Mm -hmm. That's the minimum mm -hmm. that we'll take. And if you'll give us your money, you can take it home. Okay. Um, we will also have um, the viewers' choice judging for our challenge, and the theme this year is sing-along. We're all making quilts that depict a song, mm -hmm. and I can't tell you what mine is because then you'd know. Okay. But um, I want you to come Friday night and see it. See? Right, mm -hmm. and vote for your favorite. Okay. Um, we have vendors. We have, I think, 15 vendors. Oh. At least. Um, again, mostly quilt-related things, but wonderful, wonderful stuff. And we have a program. There is a woman named Valoris Hip. She is one of the country quilters in Salem, and she's a, a recent import from California, I believe. And she's an art quilter, so she's going to do a trunk show, which is sort of a gather all the quilts you've ever made, show them, and okay. talk about them. Mm -hmm. We have two of the local Hill and Hollow folks coming in. Uh, one is Patsy Grant, who does incredible quilted upholstery pieces, mm -hmm. chairs, sofas. It's absolutely amazing. And one of the small groups within Hill and Hollow Quilt Guild, the Renegades, is going to display their Renegadeville. This is a quilted village, and they will talk about how they actually put together wow, the quilted houses. To mm -hmm. yeah. So lots going on. Lots going on. Is lots going on. Free? It is five dollars for Friday night. For Friday night, uh, we're open from six to nine. Mm -hmm. So now, all, uh, six to nine. So it's a, a three-hour event. Three-hour event. You mm -hmm. can come for all or yeah. part. Okay. okay. All right. A lot of walking around and looking at yeah. things. And you yeah. said it continues on Saturday as well. That is mostly for folks who have pre-registered. Okay. Okay. Right. And that's for mo more of the quilters than yeah, the, uh, yeah. That's right. for the yeah. quilters. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of like a powwow for them. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. All Congress. Right. Yeah, Coming yeah, together. yeah, yeah, Congress. Okay. Hopefully it'll be more successful than All the right. one we have in Washington. But that's <laughs> another story. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that's that another story. the political end of it. Yeah. Out of it. Uh, so this is going to be October the 10th and 11th. Right. And uh, it's open mainly the open to the public on, on Friday. Right. Friday right. evening right. from 6 to right. 9. At the fairgrounds. At the fairgrounds. Okay. All right. In the education building. Okay. Right. Rain or shine, hot or cold, it'll be comfort uh, galore in there. You or bet. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. And lots to see. Lots and lots to see. Okay. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Do, do we need to show any more of these? Only if you want. This mm -hmm. will be, uh, of course, it, these are what's available. If you pick one of the, those up, Brenda. Now, is this a wall hanging? As that well? is also a wall hanging. Actually, these are all wall hangings. There we there go. We go. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of a bizarre uh, thing going on. Kind of wild, huh? Yeah, kind of like a pinwheel. All type the of thing. people who are involved with the, the Quilt Congress will be wearing aprons. 
So if anyone would come and have questions about the guild, oh, okay. or maybe they want to find out how to take lessons, hmm. or they're just interested in learning to be a quilter, then they should talk to one of the ladies that has on an apron. Okay. And we'll be roaming around doing our thing. Yeah. And then um, it, you know, we'd be more than happy to get them into quilting, because it's really fun. Cool. All right. Well, check it out October 10th from 6 to 9 at the Fairgrounds Educa Dexter County Education Building. Education Building. All right. Okay. Thanks, girls. Thank, Thank you. Here. Thank you. Up next, we have, uh, let's see, Walk a Mile in Her Shoes fundraiser, and we're going to have Nikki DeSoto and Jerry Strobel. They're going to be here and take us out to a break, I guess. We'll see you. Come right back. <laughs> All right.